Okay, so first off, I've done this 5,000 times. It's really satisfying. How cool is that? Hey, so purchased this Sears 620 about a month and a half ago, and pretty quickly I realized that this 215 watt solar panel that's included with it just really wasn't enough to keep the battery chart. So, because it's going into winter, I realized one of the big problems is, is that this solar panel is flat. So even though it's 215 watts, when the sun angle gets really low, it just is entering like this. It's not really blasting it with all of its rays. So thinking about it, I was like, okay, what's the best solution? Um, sort of had a two pronged approach. First off, I got a solar suitcase that I can tilt at any angle that I want and direct it towards the sun, which is great. But that's only 200 watts and I might not always be able to use it to put it around the truck. So the other half of that is this solar panel. So it's a 100 watt solar panel um, that now, instead of being permanently mounted flat like this, I can just take it and lift it up and it now is at a really high angle for that low sun that we get up here in the Northeast. So figured I'd let you know exactly how I did this. So the, this assembly is kind of two parts. So the first is regular old eco-worthy um, 100 watt solar panel, which is pretty simple, pretty basic. Um, I don't know, it was like 60 bucks, 50 bucks, super cheap. Um, and the other part is an eco-worthy angle plate. So what this is, is it's designed to mount a solar panel to, which is really nice. So you can see here the sort of bolts that go in. They're super easy to attach to the solar panel. Um, but what I did instead is normally this would have a fixed bracket here. So like basically you'd have a fixed bracket running here to here because you know, most of the time you have a solar panel and you just set it, it's super easy. You use these bolt things to secure it and you've got a nice fixed um, platform. But for me, with a truck camper going down the highway, don't really want to do that. So instead, this is sort of where I modified it, is got a pair of these um, gas struts. They're basically for a car trunk, nothing super fancy. I think they're about 30 pounds of push uh, per side, so a pretty decent amount of push, um, and rig them so that now these are what keeps this um, up and down. So when you push it down, it compresses, um, and the cool thing about it, when it's down, it's down. So basically you can't, you know, I've driven along the highway with this, I started out securing it, and then realized that it's actually pretty hard to get this extended. So the pressures that you have aren't, ex don't exist on the highway. So it's compressed now, but all that force is just lateral, not vertical. So I'll lift it back up so you can see the other part that I had to do, which is right here. I did have to grind it. Um, so you can see here, I did not maybe the neatest job ever with a Dremel to basically carve out an opening for this because the securing bolt on the back um, has to go through. So that lets me, you know, put it up, take it down pretty easily. I can climb up on the back and push it up, which is pretty easy, but then I can also pull it down with something like a broom because um, I can't really reach it with my hand. Uh, so yeah, pretty satisfied. I mean, the, the power jump is pretty amazing even with just a small, you know, 100 watt panel you know when I'm facing the sun and I get full sun it you know doubles my output into my uh, charge converter big thing for here is as you can see non walkable roof um, so it's not exactly recommended to drill through it just so many problems so many issues so I really didn't want to drill through it so took a little bit of a gamble and went with the VHB tape solution. And I think there's sort of two thoughts on that and why I think it works well. First off, you've got a massive amount of surface area. I mean, look at this. This is way more surface area than normally you're dealing with like that much maybe per side. We've got, I don't know, maybe 10 times that. So feeling really comfortable about that. And also the load 
is going to be going this way. So the load's going this way. So all of this VHB tape isn't even pulling up. It's just basically going that way. So you can still um, pull it up. You can actually see I'm pulling up the, the surface here of the roof, um, even though, you know, it it's not coming off. Um, and if I wanted to take it off, actually, that was sort of a worry was it looks like you can actually inject alcohol into it and it will help it come off. But first I was a little concerned it would be too janky, but right now pretty satisfied with it is not moved. It's super easy uh, to mount um, and feeling pretty satisfied with the result. I just use splitters on the regular inputs uh, through the roof. So that's pretty easy. You know, the splitter here went up to the front and just sort of neatly tie this off. This has held, I haven't had any issues with that. These actually were coming off, so I just used some VHB tape um, to re-secure it to the roof, but you can see that is going nowhere. So that's another good test of how it is. So overall, this mod was not too hard. Um, it really made this camper much more usable, especially in the winter, because I need power to run my um, workstation and also this camper has a fridge that is run off the dc so it's not like my old one where it was propane where actually i just didn't even turn it on because it was so cold all the time but this has heating so i need to keep my food cold which is ironic because it's cold outside but not inside so pretty happy with this mod um tempted actually because i do have room to put this on the other side so i'm even tempted to expand the um you know, charge converter and put another 100 watt panel on the other side because, you know, why not? Um, but this, along with the solar suitcase, really helps me out uh, to keep charged while I'm away as long as I get good sun. Um, and with the ability to tilt it, I'm much more able to get good sun. So, yeah, super happy. I mean, honestly, the, the mod was probably like 110 bucks or something like that, which is kind of crazy. Um, maybe 120 because I had to get uh, an additional solar cable. Um, but gas shocks, these little bolts, this little kit, um, and the solar panel, not terribly expensive, which is pretty cool because I already had the charge converter in there. Um, so yeah, highly recommended. I don't know how it would work on a traditional RV um, roof. This is aluminum, so not certain about that, but you know, <laughs> no guarantees. I'm really glad that I went this way and have no more holes drilled in my roof because that is scary. So, uh, have a good one.